The night of November 25th, just before Thanksgiving, a heartbreaking scene for responding sheriff's deputies and other first responders in the town of Royalton. The Dujenski family of Machias, Cattaraugus County, with their five children, were riding in this red minivan when it was struck by the black pickup truck. Investigators say the driver of the pickup ran a stop sign. 31-year-old Danielle Dujenski was driving the minivan. She was three months pregnant, carrying what would have been her sixth child with her husband, Garrett. Danielle died in the hospital on Thanksgiving Day. Her two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Phoenix, died the night of the accident. Garrett and their daughter, one-and-a-half-year-old Christabel, were released from the hospital, but the three other Dujenski children, Austin 11, Robert 9, and Molly 5, all still in critical condition at Oshai Children's Hospital. The accident investigation continuing with a discussion on further charges for the other driver who was cooperating. A funeral for Danielle Dujenski and her daughter set for Saturday in Lockport. But some uplifting news today. This is the GMC Acadia SUV replacing the family's only now wrecked car donated to surviving husband and father Garrett this afternoon by a local family owned car dealership who specifically asked us not to identify them. Orchard Park Police helping install child safety seats and two separate GoFundMe accounts for the family with links on our website have reached over $29,000 so far. Reaction from the children's grateful grandparents in Florida. His biggest need was a vehicle because he had to rely on, you know, asking other people for rides to get back and forth to the hospital. What a relief and a burden off his shoulder of going to look for a vehicle instead of spending time with the kids. Their kindness and their generosity has put a lot of comfort in us that they're going to be helping my son-in-law and my grandchildren to get through this. People have just been doing things that have amazed me the last few days. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.